Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Cyrus and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to Dave Chappelle meeting OJ. Uh, I watched Dave when he did a Netflix special uh, about 3-4 uh, years ago or maybe it's one of the specials he did for Netflix. I don't remember which one it was but I have seen that clip but I haven't seen it since the special came out. So without any delays Let's get to it. Here we go. I've been watching that new OJ show. I can't get enough of that shit. I haven't seen that show yet. Back good memories. <laughs> but I forgot how I forgot how like just how polarizing that OJ case was. And you know, I've met OJ Simpson on four different occasions in my life. And before the end of the show, I will tell you about each of those occasions. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing that. First time I met O.J. Simpson, I was in Santa Monica. Yeah, I can't believe a black dude was like, Santa Monica? <laughs> <laughs> he was the last niggas I was expecting to say that. <laughs> See your shoes. You got some bands on, nigga, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> Santa Monica! At the time, I was 18. I had done a show, and then a guy from the club came up and was like, hey, O.J. Simpson's here, and he said he wants to meet you. I said, what? Fuck yeah. I ran down the steps, and O.J. was down there, he was like, hey, yo, man, how are you? It's good to meet you, and uh, you're doing really good work, and I hope good things happen for you in your life. I was like, man, thanks, Mr. Jibs. <laughs> <laughs> Standing beside him, well, I don't know the nice way to say this, uh, his soon-to-be slain wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, man the fuck up or you're not gonna make it through the end. <laughs> Just man the fuck up. That right. She's dead, you already know. We know what happened. We don't know who did it. <laughs> we have to go over all about this, man. It was such a long time. That woman was very nice to me. She actually embraced me. She said, I think you're adorable. And she hugged me. She goes, good luck to you. And she held me for a long time. And I whispered in her ear, bitch, are you trying to get us both killed? <laughs> <laughs> that Look at that lady in the but background. Grumpy as fuck. That was the first time in a nutshell. The second time I met O.J. Simpson. <laughs> It was right after the trial of the century. There I was, now a young man of probably 23. O.J. Simpson was the most famous or infamous face on planet Earth. I was in a restaurant in Beverly Hills with my agents. I wasn't alone in the restaurant, but I was alone. I was the only black person in the restaurant. <laughs> and in the 90s, that felt very uncomfortable. Now I tend to enjoy it at this age. <laughs> <laughs> I was having dinner with my agents celebrating a deal that they told me was lucrative, but I later learned fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, a group of women walked by. Every race was in that group. Black, white, Asian, Latino, white, white, <laughs> and white again. They were all gorgeous. I watched them walk by. Then, I saw a familiar face. Al Collins, the man from the infamous Bronco Chase, walked by and embraced one of the women, and they walked towards the door. Couldn't believe what I saw. And then, close behind him, was O.J. Simpson, newly released from jail. The restaurant fell still. I was shocked. I didn't mean to say it out loud, but it just came out. <gasps> O.J. <laughs> he stopped. Turned around to see who said it. Saw my black face and correctly assumed it was me. <laughs> I was sitting in the corner of the booth. He leaned over all the white people I was having dinner with. He shook my hand. How are you, young man? He looked in my eyes and I could see in his eyes that he didn't remember meeting me the first time. <laughs> and then he walked away. And I looked back at my agents and all of them had nothing short 
of disgust on their faces. And the only one with the courage to voice their disgust was a woman named Sharon, who used to represent me. How could you, she said. How could you shake hands with that murderer? I said, Sharon, with all due respect, that murderer ran for over 11,000 yards. <laughs> <laughs> and he was acquitted, so, you know, fuck <laughs> Glove didn't fit. Glove didn't fit. Get over yourself. The third time I met O.J. Simpson. The thing is, the whole joke is told uh, three, four different part of the full stand-up is not all uh, combined like this it's been put together but it is actually separately he told I do remember that bit and I s don't remember most of what he's telling me so I'm just just going through it but it's still funny as fuck though third time I met OJ Simpson I was doing great in life I just finished the second season of Chappelle show yeah man those were good days I was playing a comedy club in Miami, the Improv. I don't know if you've ever been, but if you have, you'd know. The door for the green room is right on the stage. Can you imagine such a thing? If I walked out of the door of the green room, bam, I'm just right here, right from the dressing room. And I did that. I walked out, and the whole crowd was like, hooray! And I looked, man, as close as you are to me, I saw him as soon as I came out, the juice. And I saw recognition in his eyes and it filled me with pride that he knew who I was. I didn't acknowledge his presence because it was a white audience and I didn't want to start a panic. <laughs> <laughs> but I did my show, show went great. I said, good night everyone, they all said, yay! And I didn't say nothing to OJ, but I just gave him a signal, let him know I knew he was there. <laughs> and I walked into the green room and OJ was already in there. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck is this possible? I was scared. And then my friends came in and we all started talking. We sat down on the couch. And I'm just telling you what I saw with my own eyes. You can believe me or not believe me. But in my experience, OJ Simpson, one of the nicest men I'd ever met. He was nice to me. He was nice to my friends. The conversation was filled with warmth and levity, humor, and wisdom. We talked for 90 minutes and then suddenly the Jew said, you know what, I've got to be going. But it's good to see you again. And I'm glad things went so well. I said, thanks, Juice. And my friend said, yeah, goodbye, Mr. Juice. They're new to the game. <laughs> he said, no, thank you for your hospitality. Good night, guys. And we said, good night. And he just walked out of the room. And as soon as the door closed, we all looked at each other like, that nigga did that shit. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel like murder in the room. Wait, 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 oh, yeah. wait, wait. I forgot. The fourth time I met O.J. Simpson. The fourth time is not the funniest time, but it was the last time I'd see the juice. For some reason, I was at the Kentucky Derby. It's a very long story. This is right after I quit Chappelle's show in spectacular fashion. Yeah. There was a party hosted by Michael Jordan and every athlete I'd ever admired was in that room. Yes. And then I saw a familiar face by the bar, <laughs> standing there, drinking alone. It was Chris Tucker. Now, <laughs> I, ex I expected it to say remember, juice. At this time, we were both technically missing. <laughs> <laughs> and we went over and we're talking with one another and motherfuckers were amazed to see us together. Seeing me and Chris Tucker at that point would be like seeing Bigfoot riding a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe that's what you were saying. <laughs> and then through all the gawkers, a familiar face pushed to the crowd. Here he was again, the juice. Yes. He had his camera ready. He was like, Dave, Chris, good to see you guys. 
hey, come on, let's, let's all get together for a picture. And at the same time, me and Chris were like, no. <laughs> Sorry, Juice, my career is too flimsy to survive. <laughs> That's the end. Man, he's awesome, isn't he? So, that was Dave Chappelle uh, meeting OJ. And I've, as I mentioned, I've watched it on Netflix when the stand up came out. And it was one of the funniest things ever. And now I remember why. Because I just watched it and it was absolutely brilliant. It was funny as fuck. And the whole, the way Dave Chappelle constructs the story and tells you the whole bit is just brilliant. It is just funny with so many little uh, jokes in between. Uh, then the whole story as well is just brilliant. I love Dave Chappelle so much. And I'm going to be doing a lot more of Dave Chappelle pretty soon. I want to do Chappelle show. I, oh my god, I absolutely love Chappelle show as well. But this clip was absolute brilliant. I really did enjoy it. I hope you did too. If you did, please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.